We got these big tax cuts so workers would get more money. So, you know, I think it's a shame that Powell thinks, and there are other people who come on our network and say, uh, look, th this is really run amok inflation. I, inflation. I think it's a shame that we shouldn't allow people to get jobs and make more money. This isn't my old shop steward mm -hmm, lefty mm -hmm, thing. I'm mm -hmm. just, I just really feel like, hey, listen, it's, it's not as dangerous. But that's why he's raising. Mm -hmm. But how about this? What would Janet Yellen do? What would she do? I think I know what she would do. I think she would listen to programs like this and listen to what's happening in the marketplace and with housing. And she would listen to what's happening in, uh, in industrial. She would listen to what's happening in construction and in autos. And she'd say, you know what, I raised rates and now let's see well, what let's, happens. Let's That's what Janet Yellen would do. And I really miss Janet Yellen. I miss her because what she would do is say, you know what, I need more inputs. I'll look at the market. It's down 500 points. Maybe we should make some calls. Yeah. Maybe that. What is that PPG? Let's look at that. Where is that go? And you know what she was doing? She was a student. OK, she was a student. She wasn't a teacher. She was a student and she learned from many people and she had no hubris and she was not a rookie. And I don't like what's happening at the Fed because the Fed has decided, like Ben Bernanke in 2005, we got to put a stop to this, even as they knew absolutely nothing in 2006. So here's a question. If one of the chapters in the lesson book is the company conference calls during this earnings season, and we hear more company conference calls like PPG, where they're talking about rising input costs. We heard it not just from PPG. We right. heard it from Pepsi and Procter & Gamble on steel. Um, does it make Jay Powell less or more likely to raise rates? Because you could look at it both ways. You could look at it as this is slowing the economy down. This is a real right. impact on, on the stock market and we're going to step back. Or you can say it is inflationary. We have inflation to fight. Well, I have Barry Stern looked on today. He knows more about real estate than almost anybody in the world. And he's saying, listen, steel costs have gone up so much that it no longer pays to build. To build, right. And now wow. that, that's, you know, now, is that, does that yeah. stop the economy? Well, how about Jay Powell? Jay Powell should watch the show tonight. I know, but I mean, he's fed guys. I mean, Janet Yellen used to get every input, even if it's as Lilliputian as what mad money is, okay? Mm -hmm. But, you know, you, you got to listen to Barry Stern. Like, he is saying the steel's already slowing because it's not worth building. The smarter guys are saying they're pulling back, not worth building. That's a man-made problem. We're trying to take on the Chinese. When you take on the Chinese, there's casualties. There's collateral damage. There's a 489-point down decline in the Dow, and a lot of that's collateral damage to what the Fed wants to do. And by the way, I hear many people say that Peter Navarro is not in charge. They're fools. Those who say that he's not in charge do not do enough homework to be in the room. Because he Don't is do in charge. Homework. He's driving he's it. Very much in charge because the president has had it with China. He's told me so many times. In the 2005 and 6, he told me he was trying, had it with China. Well, now it's only accentuated. So I think that some of it is man-made. Yeah. Look, if we had more oil, we did the Iranian sanctions. That caused oil to spike. Now we don't have enough truckers because we changed the rules. You can only drive 50 hours a week. If you speak to Ingenuity, you speak to the people, you, the, you Johnson, you, a lot of what's happening in inflation is man-made. So it's not going to stop if Jay Powell, look, Jay Powell's using a sledgehammer. I think mm -hmm. if he stepped back and said, well, let's see how we're already doing.